a direction or a path or uh, inspired you in some way? I mean, because you've worked with so many great directors and so many great uh, people along the way. Two nights ago, I finished work with Clint Eastwood, um, and I have to say, it was transformative in every way. He is, a, he is a, a true master. I mean, whether you love every movie of his or not, doesn't really matter. The experience of working with him, what it is, it's sort of like, okay to say, he trusts his actors to such an extent, there's such a, a respect that he, he gives, not only to the actors, but to every single crew member that he has, every single person that is around him, that you feel like you're buoyed by this artist who is the great Glenn Eastwood, who, you know, having basically allowed you into his camp in a way, um, and what he does, the way he works, is so totally different because he works like a jazz musician in the sense that the room is absolutely silent. They, you never hear rolling or action or cut or anything. Basically what happens is the cameras are sort of turning on and off as the team feels it should turn on and off because you're either going to be captured correctly and he sometimes will quietly whisper your name and therefore you know you've begun the scene and if you've missed it, it's kind of your own fault like jazz in that way and it is truly the most absolutely incredible environment to be on because, be in because you are every person is paying complete attention to what is happening in the room as it's happening and that is like music and he gets performances and uh, he gets a level of artistry, and the other thing about it that's so interesting and strange is it's absolutely fun. Everyone is having fun, even if the material like this was incredibly dark and challenging. Mm. Um, so that, to me, is the transformative one. I think about 17 years ago, it was a film called Sweet Nothing with Mira Savino, but it was directed by a man named Gary Winnick, who passed away uh, very recently, uh, unfortunately. 49 years old and died of a brain tumor. But he founded Indigent. And he was a director and then, you know, started producing other directors' works and was continuing to direct his own stuff. He did a movie called Tadpole, which won at Sundance, and he had a lot of success with that. And then went on to do Hollywood movies uh, like Charlotte's Web and some others. But um, he took a real chance because uh, I hadn't done a lot back then and uh, he had to kind of fight to cast me. And just the way he included me in the creative process and the faith that he put in me to help him do rewrites on the script and kind of tailor it to, to us and um, improvisation and the way uh, we did research together. Um, it was the, a real, he really embodied the spirit of independent filmmaking and generosity of someone who's a director and then wants to produce other directors' work. Um, Really, uh, you know, he was a great spirit in independent film, and um, I think we, you know, we all suffered his loss. And I was really grateful to work with him, fortunate. Yeah, he's a good <coughs> guy. I've interviewed him before. Okay. Um, well, he's played a very big influence on my career. Um, I, when I was, gosh, I guess I was about 20 when I first met him, and it was for a film that he uh, directed and also started and also produced. <laughs> Um, called Beyond the Sea, and, and he, it had taken him 11 years to get that film in, so it quite literally was his baby. And, um, and he, God, I mean, I, I'm such a huge fan of his, I mean, The Usual Suspects is one of my favorite all-time films, so I was pretty nervous and, and excited to meet him, and um, we just had lunch to, he asked me for lunch for this particular role, and he, um, he said, right, okay, well, I think we should do this then, you know, you and I, and I was God. And then I actually had to do the film, which was <laughs> nerve-wracking every day. Um, but but then after after that, we became very close in that film. It's, you know, it was such a passion project for him, and he we, he was working with me as a director and also my co-star and also a producer. And then um, after that after that project, um, he recommended me to um, Brian Singer for Superman, um, and uh, that was you know a pretty big deal. And uh, again, it was kind of strange to be working with Brian Singer and Kevin Spacey when Usual Suspects was one of my favorite films. It was sort of one of those moments where you thought, oh god, I must have done something right, you know, to be able to have this opportunity. Um, and, uh, and, and, and then after that he um, asked me to be part of 21. So there's been a few, uh, quite a few projects that we've done together and, and uh, he's just incredibly intelligent and hilarious. I mean, just hilarious. And I 
and I'm very grateful to him for his support. Well, I, I really thought 21 was a sadly underappreciated film which should have gotten more attention, which, well, we're giving you more attention here. Made a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's great. Well, now, um, uh, speaking of money, I mean, uh, have you guys found